right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. Welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC Welterweight Champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The Welterweight Champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pom pom fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all falls down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camp. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules, and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. with the right hand. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting it. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, big elbow. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Craig. 
now going upstairs with the left hook. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice punch to the head. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, missed on that one. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And I think you got to beat on the right uppercut. He shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. It's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Pretty strong jab there by Moicano. That hurt sounds means we have reached the end of round one. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Craig. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Finish him, finish him. Push back. Keep going. He him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you. At Heavy kick down. Oh, oh he's wobbled now. Oh! Just misses with the. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to... Look at the whip action that comes from that kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight 
champion of the world, All right, so Paul Craig, your winner by knockout here tonight. He's talked to us a lot about his striking evolution. Those are words. Tonight, a big action. Yeah, put in the action. I mean, you can say stuff until you're blue in the face, but when you do it in front of thousands of people and, get, and it produces this result, now you know that the work that you're doing behind closed doors is starting to...